two years ago, cops in Jersey City arrested people caught smoking cannabis. But now some cops are fighting for the right to use the drug while they're off duty. Talk about a twist. Yeah, real twist. And now the city of Jersey City has filed a lawsuit calling for the court to make it clear that officers are banned from using it even when off duty. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live in Jersey City with the details in this kind of interesting story. Anthony. Yeah, well, the state's marijuana laws are in direct contradiction to the federal laws dealing with marijuana. Those five police officers, they lost their jobs because they use pot. The five officers want their jobs back, claiming they were terminated for using a drug that is legal in New Jersey. But city officials say the officers were released because federal law prohibits anyone from possessing a gun if they use a controlled substance like marijuana. We can no longer arm them or provide them with ammunition, so uh, they are ineligible to be police officers. State civil service has sided with the five officers, but the city is asking a federal judge to side with them and make it clear the officers can't be reinstated since they are unable to carry a weapon because they used weed. They have been terminated because they can no longer carry a firearm and perform the duties of a police officer in the state of New Jersey. The mayor is concerned the city could face big lawsuits if a cop is involved in an incident and tests positive for marijuana use. You are speaking about tens of millions of dollars in potential liability and exposure here for a municipality uh, if something goes sideways. And our job here is to protect the residents. The PBA thinks this action by the city should have been taken sooner. Jersey City believes so strongly in their position, they would have filed this lawsuit 18 months ago after the uh, sales of legalized cannabis began. The attorney for two of the officers who have been cleared to return to work by the state Civil Service Commission issued the following statement saying, after losing before multiple courts and the Civil Service Commission, Jersey City is now wasting additional taxpayer resources on this frivolous complaint. The attorney adds, Jersey City seeks to enforce a federal statute that has been ruled unconstitutional by at least five federal courts. We are confident that the Civil Service Commission's rulings will be upheld. And the public safety director also adds that the five officers that were terminated from being police officers were offered other jobs here in the city. They refused those jobs because they want to get back out here on the streets and serve as police officers here in Jersey City.